the Louis Vuitton hot new release Pachette Matisse East West bag is everywhere. Unboxing videos, first impression videos, what fits videos, Instagram photos. She's on the tip of everyone's tongue. And am I going to buy one? No. And you know why? Coming in at 2,910 US dollars or a crazy 4,250 Australian dollars, I just can't afford it. I'm just an ordinary girl with an ordinary budget and an ordinary income and I just can't fit it into my budget. But what I do have for you instead is my vintage alternative for the Pochette Matisse East West bag and she's called the Pochette Curad. So stick with me and I'll show you why she's a fantastic alternative. Today is a really windy day, so I apologize if you hear my windows shaking or you can hear the wind in the background. Okay, so now in today's video, what I'm going to show you is an overview of this vintage Pochette Curad. I'm going to compare the prices of the two bags so you can see how much you can save. We're going to look at the two bags side by side, including dimensions and mod shot comparisons. Then we're going to compare what fits in both bags and we're going to finish up with looking at the current prices on the pre-love market for this vintage bag. Hey everyone, if we haven't met before, hi, I'm Lady Vintage Bags and if you're into pre-love vintage and affordable designer handbags, then stick around because I'm your girl. Okay, now back to the video. Okay, so let's get straight into an overview. So this is what she looks like from the front. So the Pochette Curat has a front flap here, beautiful S-lock here. And if we turn her around, she's got a wide slip pocket here. Now you'll notice here these D rings. Now this is how I turn the Pochette Curad, which is actually a clutch, into a crossbody bag, making her my alternative for the East West bag. Now this is really easy to do, and you can do this with any designer clutch you want that you want to wear as a crossbody bag. And this is my hack for having designer items in your collection for a budget. Now, all I did was buy one of these leather hole punches, which you can get from Amazon, and I bought these screw-on D-rings. So all you do is just screw these through the hole that you punched, and then you can turn any designer clutch into a crossbody bag. And if you wanna see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do that, I've actually got one which I'll link up above and in the description box down below, and you can use this on any clutch you want. Now, because it is a clutch bag, you do get a wrist strap, and the interior is just one big compartment leather line with this zipper pocket here. Now let's talk prices. Now comparing the prices, the Louis Vuitton East West Pochette Matisse is coming in at 2,910 US dollars or really crazy 4,250 Australian dollars. That is just way above my budget for a bag. However, you can get this for under 250 US dollars still. Now that's including taxes and shipping. So that's a savings of over $2,600 or 90% off. And to have a Louis Vuitton in your collection for under 250, I think that's a steal. And actually, I only paid $118 for this back in 2018, and that's with taxes and shipping. So I was really stoked with the price that I paid for this. Okay, so now let's take a look at both of these side by side, starting with the mod shots. So this is what both bags look like if you just hold it by the strap. Now bear in mind the Pochette Curate, you can add any strap you want to it. These are just the straps that I've added. This is what it looks like when worn on the shoulder as a shorter shoulder bag. And this is what it looks like when it's worn crossbody. Both bags have a really similar vibe. You get this rectangular shape with a flap and a beautiful S lock at the front. You can add the gold chain, you can remove the gold chain, however you want to dress up or dress the down the bag for it to suit your outfit. Now let's take a look at the dimensions side by side. So I've got the measurements here for you, but just to summarize, so the Pochette Curat is a little bit bigger overall. So it is a little bit longer and a little bit taller, but actually the East West Matisse is a little bit wider. Now in terms of strap length comparison, you can add any strap you want to the Pochette Curat. So there's not really a comparison there to be made, but I do have the dimensions of the strap length of the East West Pochette Matisse for you here. This is what both bags look like from the front. And I must say, I'm in love with the vintage Louis Vuitton S-Lock. Just take a look at that. I love the vintage ones because they're bigger and bolder and golder. So you can see here, it's nice and shiny. Now, actually, when you first buy them from the pre-love market, they don't usually come polished. They do usually come tarnished. So this is what mine used to look like when it was tarnished. But you can easily shine it up and get it nice and reflective like this. 
all I did was I just used this blue metal polish cream which you can get from Amazon and I have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I got it looking from this to this which I'll link up above and in the description box down below so that you can polish your hardware and get it nice and shiny as well. And I love the S-Lock so much. Look, I've got three bags here with the beautiful S-Lock too. So I've got two Monsos, I've got a monogram and an Epi one, and I've got an Epi Concord here. This is what it looks like from the side. So you can see the Pochette Matisse has more of an accordion construction compared to the Curad. This is what the interior looks like. So the Matisse is fabric lined. It's got two main compartments with a center zippered compartment as a divider and a slip compartment at the back. Whereas the Curad is completely leather lined. Now that's a huge plus for me. I love leather lined bags. And the Pochette Curad is one main compartment. You do have a zippered compartment at the back and some very slim and tight, and I just call them useless slip pockets at the front. And this is what it looks like from the back. Now you've got this really wide slip pocket that extends the whole width of the bag versus a zippered pocket at the back of the Matisse. I think this is actually more useful. It's got more capacity because it extends the whole length of the bag. Now actually these vintage Louis Vuitton bags often come with either sticky or dry flaking pockets, which often need to be cleaned up, but it's not too difficult. And so if you want to get one of these bags that come with one of these pockets that need to be cleaned out, it's super easy. And I've got a tutorial video on how I do it, which I'll link up above and in the description box down below. And you can follow along and clean out your bags. So tell me what you think so far. Comment down below. Are you team Pochette Matisse East West or are you team Pochette Curad with me? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Obviously, I'm team Pochette Curad. I'm a vintage girl through and through. So now let's compare what fits. So I found a what fits video from fellow YouTuber, My Luxury Stories. And in her video, she shows she was able to get in a mini pochette, a key clay, a YSL compact zippered wallet, a foundation compact, and a lipstick. Now let's see what I can fit in my Curad. So I've got a large phone, compact wallet, a pouch for miscellaneous items, a card holder, a lipstick, a lip balm, my keys, and sunglasses. And that's not even full to the brim. That's just comfortably full so that it's not misshaping the bag. If you really need to, you can pack more in. But realistically, this is all I put in there because I don't like to overstuff or misshape in my bags. Now tell me what you think so far. Are you considering this bag? If you want to see a more in-depth review video on this bag, I actually have a proper review video where you can see more about it, which I'll link up above and in the description box down below. Now let's take a look at the current prices on eBay. So you can see here, it actually comes in two different colors. So I've got the green, which is called Epicir or Epic. I know I'm totally butchering that name. And it also comes in a burgundy color called Anjou. Now the green is a little bit more common to find, but both of them are coming in at mostly under 250 US dollars. So that's a really great price to have a Louis Vuitton piece in your collection. And if you want to factor in the cost of maybe buying the leather punch or the D rings and buying a strap, maybe add in an extra 50 US dollars. So all up, maybe you're looking at under 300 US dollars to make this happen from buying a pochette curate but in the end that's still a really good price for a Louis Vuitton bag so I'd love to hear your thoughts guys what do you think do you agree with me is this a suitable alternative for an east west bag to me I think it is all the way so if you're loving this idea of vintage alternatives to Louis Vuitton's hottest bags I've actually got a whole playlist happening and I'll link that up above and in the description box down below for you and that way you can get value out of your budget I'll see you in the next one guys bye